Okay, doing a permanent battery charger install on a 22 SeaDoo switch, 21 foot with a 230. Bought the 120 adapter on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Everstart 3 amp float charger from Walmart for like 21. Uh, I have a couple crimp ends that I'm going to replace on here to hook to the battery switch. Here's another switch that I bought that I'm going to put in line and have the amps for the speakers go to this so I can switch either the rear speakers running or the front speakers running or both. This guy here is cut right above the gas inlet into the back of here where there is plenty of room. No wires were cut running that battery charger down through underneath there's one hole that comes out right down there reach in from the back push it up through and then you can grab it from here pull it up i'm going to install the plug here then i'm actually going to use some silicone attach them so they are not uh they don't get soaked just in case with moisture and then I'm going to mount that guy in there, take this double front battery that I have, the deep cycle, and hook it to there, and we'll see where it goes. So after drilling the two inch hole for this mount plug, it comes through, tied it in the normal knot, siliconed it, it goes down through the floor. out right here goes through this grommet comes in to the charger out on the charger right along the wall the negative to the battery terminal down there which is a universal lug for this battery the front two batteries and the engine and aluminum chassis portions the positive I ran to the front two deep cycle batteries opposed to the farther back one on my battery shut off. From the output on the battery shut off, I come over to the output, or in this case the input, on the speaker selector. Front rear speakers, since it has the quad corners, so I can turn it on both speakers, front speakers or back speakers to basically throttle back battery consumption or if you're in a place where they get pissed when you're playing the music on the front and you're on the back of the boat cranking it up trying to hear it. Um, so that's how it's going to be. I'm going to mount these up and show you what everything looks like when I'm done. So all finished up. Have the battery charger in line, plugged in. The 12 volt charging run it up and around the main battery to the front two deep cycles is the positive the negative is going down to the common distribution block from here is my battery selector my front my rear and both here's my secondary one I wired in for the speakers front rear front or rear if I have it set to off here, the speakers are turned off. If the battery is selected to front and rear, the charger charges the small one and the deep cycles up front. So you can decide if you want to use those batteries, these batteries, or if you just want to play off your rear speakers since this has a quad speaker system, or the four or front, or all four. This works like if you're partying somewhere and they don't want to hear your shit up front. You just turn it to the rear. You don't have to deal with anybody crying and bitching and moaning. Um, and then also a reminder that to pop this off, you just click it up and they come straight off. So after you get everything wired in your engine compartment with those switches, if your switch plays one side of the boat as one series and the other side is the other, so if you wire it front rear, and it plays on front, 
this side in the rear that side you need to open this guy up this series of amps for the sub and speakers goes to this fuse box and opposite with this one fuse box amp amp they come up through this series of wires here and these two were the front so i had to disconnect them connecting the right ones through troubleshooting from unplugging and listening to the music so now this amp runs only my front two six and a halfs and then my sub which is these colors in the front my rears i labeled as my rears and my sub if this is your case this is how you rewire it you also have to come and rewire these swap these with these these with these which i already did so now i have a front and a rear leds on the speakers that are played